Come on, the raspy voice said. Give up, give in. You know you want to. Hey, I'm Dylan, and you're listening to Unlocked, your daily key to unlocking God's word in your life. Now, what I'm about to say really has nothing to do with anything, but I feel like I just can't ignore it. So, happy candy grabbing day, also happy Reformation Day, National Doorbell Day, and National Knock Knock Joke Day, and Pastoral Care Week. Now, back to our regularly scheduled programming. I have definitely had times in my life where I wished I could just be perfect and not have to struggle with some particular sin or another, whatever I was dealing with at the time. But that's just not what's going to happen in this life. Not for me and not for you either. Today's Zevo is about the temptation to sin. It's called The Assassin by Courtney Lassiter. Nova Anadosha, warrior of light, drew her sword and held it ready as the enemy assassin approached. The wide hood of a jet black cloak concealed the assassin's face, but Nova could hear a malicious grin in the words spoken to her. Come on, the raspy voice said. Give up, give in. You know you want to. Nova responded with her own grin and gripped her sword tighter. I don't think so. The assassin suddenly lurched at her, sword whipping through the air, but Nova easily dodged its dark blade. You've given in to me before, the voice said. Nova sighed and gave her blade a quick swing through the air just to feel the weight of it. Yet, here we are again. The assassin came at her once more, but Nova was ready. She sidestepped the sword, aimed for her heart, and twirled around quickly, then brought the hilt of her sword down hard on the assailant's shoulder. The enemy's sword clattered to the ground, and after Nova dealt a few more blows, the assassin was down on hands and knees. With the tip of her blade, Nova removed the hood from the assassin's head. Her own face glared back at her. Nova stared into the assassin's filmy eyes. You're not who I am anymore. You're dead. The ashen face of the assassin twisted in anger. Liar! Nova shook her head. You're the liar. You can't defeat me. You died the day I was born. The day the light shined on me. I'm in the light now, and you have no power over me. She sheathed her sword. I just need to hold on to that truth as I wait for the day when you'll be banished forever. Then I'll never have to deal with you again. Nova turned and walked away, ignoring the assassin's angry rasps behind her. It wasn't over yet. She knew the assassin would be back to fight another day. And she would be ready. So what does this story make you think of? The book of Romans tells us that Though Christians have been saved from sin by Jesus and given new life, we still have a sinful nature living within us. Even though Jesus has freed us from sin's power, our sinful nature will still urge us to do things that go against who we are now in Jesus. And sometimes we will give in. That's why we must fight against this nature, remembering that through Jesus, we always have the power to turn away from sin. Today's allegorical story addresses this struggle. In what ways have you struggled against your own sinful nature? It's important to remember that once we know Jesus, our old sinful nature is not who we are anymore. Finding our identity in Jesus is both an act of resistance to temptation and an act of hope in his forgiveness. Because even when we give in to our sinful nature and do wrong, 1 John 1 9 tells us Jesus offers us forgiveness. He has already paid the penalty our sins deserve by dying in our place and rising from the grave. And one day, he will give us new bodies that will be free from the sinful nature we have now. Read about that in Philippians 3 20 and 21. How can these promises give us hope when we're struggling with sin? Often, our struggles with sin are hidden from those around us. But Jesus calls us to be in relationship with fellow Christians so we can help each other. Galatians 6, 1 and 2. Who are trusted Christians in your life you can be open and honest with about your struggles? How could you be intentional about encouraging each other, 
praying for each other and reminding each other of your new identity in Jesus and of his unending love, power, and forgiveness. Now, if you want to dig deeper, there is a lot of scripture that goes along with today's story. You can find all of it in the Unlocked app or on today's Devo at unlocked.org. Now, as you and I can read in Ephesians 5, 8, For you were once in darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light. And dive into God's word for more in Romans 6, 1 through 4, and verses 12 through 14, and verses 20 through 23. And then also read Romans chapter 7, verses 15 through 25, to keep God's word alive in your life. Unlocked is a podcast from Keys for Kids Ministries, but maybe you're not listening to it on a podcast app. You can follow Unlocked for free on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to audio when you search Unlocked Daily Devotional. It's an easy way to spend some time with God as a part of your you know, regular routine. And come back for tomorrow's devotion with Madeline, how the gospel still shows up even in the Old Testament. But until then, I'm Dylan, encouraging you to live life unlocked, opening the door to God in your life.